Welcome to the Urban Survivor channel and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a few different ideas for bug out and get home bag food. Most of the items are inspired by backpacking. All of these items have a decent shelf life of over a year and many of them are calorie dense as well. These are the items that I carry in my bug out bag and there's a total of 16,900 calories which allows for 2,417 calories a day for a week. There's a good chance that during a bug out or get home situation, you might find yourself walking for extended distances. And if you are carrying a heavy backpack, there's a good chance that you'll be burning a lot of calories, sweating a lot. So you'll need to replenish your electrolytes. These are some berry flavored hydration tablets from noon that can be added to the water you drink. And they also help to improve the taste of filtered water as well. These are some energy chews from Probar, which contain yerba mate caffeine. You don't know what time of the day or night you might need to bug out and how much sleep you'll be running on, so it's good to have some quick access to caffeine. Roloids are another important item to keep in the kit in case you experience heartburn or indigestion, which is possible especially if you're eating foods that you're not used to. Fruit leather is another snack that's easy to eat when you're on the move. I picked up a box of 48 of these on Amazon and each fruit leather weighs half an ounce and has 50 calories. I also like these two ounce bottles which I use to store various liquids in my bug out and get home bags and I wanted to share a few different food related items that I keep in them. There's some sunflower oil which can be added to almost anything you might be cooking and it can also make cleaning up easier because less stuff will stick to the cup or pan that you're cooking it. It would be nice to have if you're going to cook some fish and add some more calories to it as well. Honey is great to have too and it has a decent amount of calories and it can improve the taste of things as well. You can mix it in with coffee or tea or add it to the oats in the morning for breakfast. Finally there's some soy sauce which has a strong flavor and a little bit goes a long way to improve the taste of your meal. I also keep some loose leaf tea in here, which is nice because it can soothe the stomach and it's also good for keeping warm and relaxing at the end of the day. Ramen is the foundation of the food in my bug out bag. It also has a great shelf life, almost 400 calories per packet. It's cheap, filling and easy to prepare. All you need is a little cup of hot water to soften the noodles and you can even eat it raw if needed. There's seven packages in this kit. Oats are a really versatile food because they can be easily prepared and they can even be eaten raw in a pinch. One of these packets has a little over an ounce of oats and 140 calories, but you can mix it with different things like the seasoning packets from the ramen and water to make a nice soup for dinner, or you can mix it with the peanut butter or honey to make it more calorie dense and have it for breakfast. There are 14 packages in this kit. I like to keep some complete cookies and pro meal bars in this kit as well, which would be good to have for breakfast or lunch and they can be eaten on the move. They taste great and each one has about 400 calories and I have seven in this kit. I like the taste of sunflower butter, but peanut butter and almond butter are also calorie dense. They have fat and protein and are good foods to keep in a bug out bag. This 16 ounce jar has about 2,800 calories and you can eat it directly from the jar or you can mix it in with different foods. Nut butters have one of the best calorie to weight ratios I picked up these smoked sausages on Amazon and there's a little over 1500 calories in this bag that weighs just 12 ounces. The last item is a one pound bag of honey roasted peanuts which has a little over 2800 calories and it can be eaten on the go as well. Thanks for watching the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to check out my bug out bag build and the rest of the contents in the kit you can find a link to that in the description below. <laughs>